these Cardeal uh, beetroot uh, seeds. I've never grown these guys before uh, and I've just opened the, well I've read the packet and opened the packet and I've just noticed that these are described as a specially bred for producing baby beetroot. Specially bred for producing baby beetroot. Well, that sounds to me like they're going to be ideal for pots. What about you? Um, and it says that if we're going to grow baby beetroot, we can sow these guys two inches apart and pull them when they're about the size of a golf ball. Come on, these have got to be designed to go in pots. Size of a golf ball. Um, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and equally space, space these seeds. I think that's important, that you uh, try and give every uh, plant in the pot an equal amount of room. So I'm going to try and space these seeds equally. And what I'm going to use to do that are some small pebbles. Okay. Now imagine where each of these pebbles um, sit. We're going to have a golf ball sized beetroot. <laughs> That's the plan. That's the plan. Pink to make the boys wink. <laughs> I must admit I've never seen pink uh, beetroot seeds before. Now whether they've got some sort of coating on them or whether that's a natural colour, I don't know. I've, uh, I've looked at the packet, I may have missed it, but I can't see anything on there telling me why they're pink. Um, so we're going to be sowing some pink beetroot seeds here. Yep. Tell you what, these guys really are easily seen. I hope you're seeing them as I'm seeing them because I know you'll agree. Now as it said on the packet these guys are supposed to be two inches apart. I don't know if you can tell from where you're sitting but from where I'm sitting they look about two inches apart. In fact some of them look more than two inches apart so that's good isn't it? What we're going to do we're going to cover these guys with compost. Okay just like this. And now we know with absolute certainty that all those seeds are in at the same depth. Would you agree? Would you agree with that? They won't be far off, will they? Right, now then. So that we get a good contact, pop that on. And we'll just give it a firm down. Come on. It's like a, a beetroot seed sandwich, isn't it? How's that? Come on, how is that? Right Mom, we'll just give these guys a final drink. And if you notice this is quite a light spray because what we don't want to do is wash the seeds to the surface do we? Mind you if we did I guess we would see them with them being pink wouldn't we? The beetroot seeds have been in the pots now um, 23 days and the packet tells me that we can expect germination between 7 and 21 days so whatever's going to germinate should have germinated be now shouldn't it should we have a look at them see what we've got okay this is cylindra that's the cylindrical beetroot well, we certainly haven't got 11 seeds germinated there, have we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 out of 11. It's not such a good percentage, is it? Um, we need to do something about that. I think uh, whatever's going to germinate will have germinated be now in this pot. When you look at how these guys have come on. Um, so we're going to over-sow it with some more seeds. Why not? 
We want 11 in this pot, don't we? Let's do this. Let's pop these pebbles back on where we expected beetroot to be and we haven't got them. Let's see if I've got enough pebbles in my pocket. If I've prepared well, I should have. Let's have a look. How's that? Let's do a quick count, start on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right, what we're we going to do then, how are we going to do this? Well these seeds need to be in about half an inch to an inch, so what we'll do is we'll just take a pencil and under each one of these guys we'll make a small depression that'll get the seed below the surface just pop the pebble back on top of it Do they look even to you? Best I'd be Okay, now if the seeds that haven't germinated decide to germinate, well, we'll just have to thin them out, won't we? Um, but I don't want to wait too long, I'd like this pot to be ready in a wanna. Um, let's see if I can get some of these out without spilling them all over the place. Okay. What we'll do is, as we take these off, we'll pop a beetroot seed in there, push it down, it's below the surface, we'll just close that up. Take that one off, put a beetroot seed in there. Wow, that sun's hot. It's just come out on the back of my neck, boy, it's red hot. Put one in there. Close that one up. Put one in here. Close that one up. Now, I'm probably not going to need to water these guys because we have had torrential rain for the last two or three days and strong winds, I haven't, I've hardly been able to get out in the garden. In fact, uh, a word of warning, if you're growing in pots, check that none of your pots are waterlogged. I had one that was waterlogged, the drainage holes had got blocked. Um, and so, I, and it was a pot that I was growing sweet corn in, I might have lost that sweet corn, but I've, I've been out, I've eased the pot over on its side, as best I can, and wedged it up off the ground, just to let that water drain and improve the drainage. Um, so you might want to check your pots, check that none of them have uh, flooded, and if they have, empty the water out. Okay, so we're back to um, 11 in here now, and we've got 2, 4, 6 germinate, whatever percentage that is, if you can work it out, you work it out and tell me, if you don't mind. Right, let's have a look at these guys, what are these? Cardeal. Well, we've done much better here, haven't we, with Cardeal. I'm going to put a pebble on here because I think one of these guys has missed. Let me put that pebble there. I think one's missed. So count round with me from the pebble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven beetroot. Take that out so that one didn't germinate. That takes us down to ten. So we've had ten beetroot germinated uh, from eleven seeds. That's a good percentage, isn't it? Well, you would be happy with that, wouldn't you, if you sowed those? Now here's something that you might not be so happy with. Beetroot um, seeds can actually be more than one seed. They're called beetroot seed clusters. Uh, and if there's one seed, clearly it isn't a cluster, but if, if there's more than one seed, uh, then it is a cluster. And when you plant it, and more than one seed germinates, uh, the beetroot grows shoulder to shoulder. For example, that was one beetroot seed planted, two beetroot, I hope you can see that, two beetroot shoulder to shoulder, two beetroot shoulder to shoulder, two here, shoulder to shoulder and two here. So in actual fact, we planted 11 and I think we've got 14. Should we count them? Start on this one. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen beetroot growing in this pot now. We only want eleven. We're trying to sow these guys thinly. Uh, so what I'll do, but not on camera, because um, I've other things to do today. Um, that's where one of these guys is missing. I'll tease one of these beetroot out and transplant it there and then let them grow until I make sure they're all viable and then we'll thin them out to uh, 11 beetroot. That okay? Does that sound okay? Well that's what we're going to do anyway. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, this is homegrown veg. Signing out. Well, I couldn't resist. We've signed out. But look at my mate. Hi, Mull. You don't care, do you? <laughs> no, Molly doesn't care. Not a care in the world, that dog. Not a care in the world. <laughs>